We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Any Another enemy stands before you. But this one... What is it, Ara? Such hatred. Be careful, Dust. So, you've come. What have you done? You murdered all these innocent people! You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name? Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! <laughs> Spare, 
in the slaughter that was to come. She? Who are you talking about? Who did I kill? <sighs> Who knows? Who sees? My vision has left me. I return now to the life thread and to my brethren. No, no, wait! Farewell, warm blood. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. We did it! He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. During the battle, I was studying Pius' attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, Ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no please in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe... Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? It's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This 
creature that attacked the village. He was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor. Called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius' hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. <laughs> 